So, are you ready for the party or what? Yeah, yeah. I gave Freddy a list of everybody's favorite terrain, quarter, a couple extra cases of liquor. Good. All set. Nice. And uh, you hired a stripper. Hmm? Yep. So which service did you use? No service. Went private this time. Why? It's a long story, Tony. It's not worth getting into. Danny, if you if you stole a girl out from under somebody and they hear about hey, it. Hey, hey, I not... didn't steal a girl from anybody. Relax. Well, who is it then? What does it matter? Just forget about it. Don't worry about it. Oh, fine. But I'll find out when she comes, so. It's Cassie Winslow, okay? What? You you hired Mars aunt to strip for a bunch of gamblers? Mm -hmm. What the hell were you thinking? What were you thinking? I wasn't thinking anything, to tell you the truth. It was just Mom's engagement ring in a jewelry store. Lizzie kind of put the idea in my head, and I just wish it never happened. Well, what'd your mom say about it? She got it, about why I tried to take the ring. I mean, she told me it was wrong, but she forgave me, I think. Well, that sounds like your mom. Still, it's killing her. I mean, now it's like everyone knows we have no money, and it's totally my fault. Tammy, I mean, stop. No, look, you reacted out of emotion. It's not like you're some jewelry thief. Thanks. Hey, Mara. Hi. Hi. Uh, we were just talking about the ring. Oh, uh, well, you know, it's over and done with. Uh, where were you? Uh, I'll, I'll go check on RJ and Will. Thanks. Thank you. Mom, I, w I went to the um, jewelry store to talk to the owner about dropping the charges against you. Will he? Unfortunately, it's in the hands of the district attorney, so... But I'm gonna make sure it goes no further, Tammy, okay? How? I don't know, but I'll think of something. Can you sit down for a minute? I wanna talk to you about... Okay. About being broke? I know things have been hard for us. But we have to go on like things are normal. You mean pretend? No, I don't mean pretend. We've got to believe that things are going to get better. We can't sit around here and feel sorry for ourselves and expect it to go away, because it won't. Not to mention Dad would have a fit. Yeah, he would. Um. But you know what? We have to we have to move ahead. And we have to think of ways to make life better for ourselves. This place will open up soon. That'll bring in money. Yes, it will, Tammy. But I um I need cash. Like right now. You got a job? Um, yeah, just until the beacon opens. I don't have a problem with that, Mom. Why didn't you just come out and tell me? So, what's your job, anyway? These earrings are bosh. Shh. Keep your voice down. I don't know for sure, but as long as you keep your hand over the receiver, I don't believe they can hear anything. No! No, Alan wouldn't do this. All right, he wouldn't do this. He just wouldn't do this to me, Sam. Liv, don't take this the wrong way. But Alan Spaulding would bug his own mother if he thought he could get something out of it. Are you sure about this? Barry, Spaulding's been listening to every word you've said ever since he gave you those hearings. <sighs> Wouldn't he need a, a transmitter or an earpiece or something? Yes. And if he's not wearing one, then I'm sure he's hired someone that is wearing one and is listening to you and reporting back every word you've said. <gasps> I don't believe this. What am I gonna learn? Just when I start to trust a guy, pow, right between the eyes. Right between the heart. Yeah, which is hurting very fast. You think he's all your feelings about Phil? Or is there something else that's aggravated his trust issues? I don't know. Tonight was going to be a new beginning for us. I was trying to do the right thing. Maybe he's only pretending to care for me. Like you're only pretending to care for him. What is this game between you two? Stop. What are you two whispering about? You. 
yes, thanks, Ross. Just get back to me as soon as you can. Lizzie's in her room. I took away her phone privileges and her email privileges for two weeks. If I could, <laughs> if I could, I would lock her in the house. Well, you can't keep her here until she's 21, Philip. <sighs> Try 41. What the hell was she thinking? Shoplifting Cassie's engagement ring. What the hell is that? All? Isn't it obvious? She's trying to get back at me. And that was before she found me in jail. Well, what did Ross have to say about the bigamy charges? Oh, there are no charges. Gus never even booked me. I was calling him about Lizzie. Oh, what did he have to say about that? The jewelry store is pressing charges. Of course. At the very least, she'll be doing some serious community service time. What a mess. Okay, well, I guess it's time to get the other lawyers involved. Are you talking about what Lizzie did or me? Um, well, now that you mention it, Beth, I guess I'm talking about both. Even though Ituro's not pressing charges, it would probably be the better thing to do to get this marriage to Bill Lewis annulled, just to be on the safe side. I'll handle it. You're gonna handle it. <laughs> you're gonna handle it. How are you gonna handle it? You're gonna, you're gonna handle it the way you handled the mess with the diary? The way you handled telling our daughter about it to the point where she felt justified in shoplifting something because it was something that Lorelei would have done? Is that, is that how you're gonna handle it? Well, gee, honey, thanks for making me feel better. Thanks for being on my side. Hey, you know what? I, I didn't create these problems. You're the one that created these problems. I'm just trying to figure out if there's a way that we can still solve some of them. I will talk to Lizzie. I may be a bigamist, but I haven't forgotten how to be a good mother. Okay. What, what are you planning to say to her? I don't know. Well, why don't we talk about it for a minute? Because I have a couple ideas. See, uh, I mean, the fact is that not only did our daughter find out that her mother's very uh, steamy diary has just been published, she also found out that her mother's been married to two guys at the same time. So I don't think this is something you're just going to be able to snap your fingers and I fix. I never said that this was going to be easy, Philip. But okay. if I am honest with her, well, it will be OK. <laughs> you were honest with her before. And she ended up stealing a ring. Not sure that's Philip, the way to go. she's a teenager. I could be Donna Reed, and she would still find an excuse to lash out at me. Yeah, but she doesn't me. need an excuse, Beth. That's the point. No, because everybody in this town now knows that you are Lorelei which means that when she goes back to school, every single kid is going to be gossiping behind her back I and to that. her face. I know that. I know that. But have a little faith in your daughter. Have a little faith in me. Oh. But that's the problem. You don't, do you? You want me to lie? Oh. I just want to do whatever we have to to protect Lizzie. But would that be protecting her? I, I distinctly remember having a conversation with her when I told her that even small lies were bad. And this wouldn't be a small lie. I know that, but nobody has to know that. Nobody. I would know that. And in, in, in every man that, that had a relationship with Lorelai, every man that would, that would pop out of the woodwork and, and go on television or sell their story to the tabloids, and that wouldn't be helping Lizzie. That would crush her. I'm willing to take that chance. I remember when we used to agree on how to raise our kids. Come on. Now, listen to come on. Now, look, not that much has changed. Hasn't it? <sighs> Philip, don't, don't you, don't you think that 
that Lizzie sees what's going on between us and, and, is, and is frightened by sure it? Sure she does, but she doesn't have to be. That's what I'm saying to you. She doesn't have to be. I can fix it by lying. Oh. <laughs> Spalding's in their situational ethics. No, no, I don't care what you say. I am not going to, to, to be a Spalding. So you were discussing me. Well, I hope everything you said was good. Of course it was. I was just telling Sammy here how happy I am with you and how generous you are. Well, I'm glad you feel that way, Olivia. Uh, Sam, I, I know this is your last night here, but would you mind if I stole your sister away for one more dance? Be my guest. <laughs> this is nice. Mm hmm I know something even nicer. Oh, so do I. Uh -huh. Would you like to leave? Uh-huh. <laughs> Why don't you get the car and let me say goodnight to Sam? I'll be happy to do that. I'll be out front. Now, don't take too long. Mm-hmm. Sam, I don't get mad, I get even. And Alan gave me just the ammunition to do that. What are you talking about? The earrings. He is going to find out just how much they mean to me. Mom, did you get a job flipping burgers or something? Because I can do that and you can look for something else. No one's flipping burgers, Tammy. Then what are you doing? I am taking care of you, RJ, and Will. You sound so serious. I am serious. Ever since your dad died and Riva was arrested, people have been talking about us. I know that. And I know Edmund is suing Aunt Riva over dad's death and he put your name on the lawsuit. How do you know that? Like you said, people are talking about us. Well, I don't want you to listen to them, okay? Okay. And people may say things, they may, they may say bad things, but as long as we stick together, nobody can hurt us. Well, what other things would they talk about? You mean my shoplifting? You know, maybe. Maybe some other stuff, Tammy, okay? You know? Does this have anything to do with your job? Look. The job's tonight, and I don't want to be late, all right? So, Mom, everything's gonna be okay. It's all gonna be okay. I love you. I want you to watch the boys for me, okay? H how long are you gonna be gone? In just a few hours, but I don't want you to wait up. Don't wait up. Well, why can't you tell me where you're going? What if I need to reach you? Right. Here is the number. Don't use it unless it's an emergency. Do you understand? What about your cell phone? I, I had the service canceled, you know, I didn't... I didn't use it a lot, so there was no point. I already said goodbye to the boys. Just because you're having personal problems, Danny, doesn't mean you have to take it out on everybody else. What the hell does that mean? You know exactly what that means. No, tell me. Look. Look, I'm sorry about you and Michelle. Okay, but that's, uh -huh. that's your personal problem. No one else... That's right, so why are you making it your problem? Because if you weren't so upset with your life, you wouldn't be messing up Cassie Winslow's, man. Oh, please. You're not, you don't care about Cassie Winslow, Tony. All you're thinking about is how Mara will react when she finds out that her, her precious aunt is stripping for money again. Leave Mara out of this. Why? You can't. It's obvious that you're still in love with her. Let me ask you, Beth. Are there any qualities that my family has that are acceptable to you? At the moment, I'm not seeing any. Well, let me tell you one. We get things done. And I'll tell you another. 
We actually care about the people we love, and we try to protect them. No. No, you try to control them. Oh, right, right. When, you're, when, you, when your child wants to touch a hot stove, is that controlling them when you don't let them? Is it always controlling when you try to prevent someone you love from being hurt to keep them safe? It is when you stop them from growing up and, and making their own decisions and, and learning how to deal with the world on their terms, not yours. No, see, I don't want Lizzie to have to be the butt of every joke at school just because her mother was sick and had something horrible happen to her when she was in Texas. And I have a hard time understanding why you think that's so it's wrong. It's wrong because Lizzie has a chance to learn a lesson here. Really? <laughs> what, what lesson is it that she's going to yeah, learn? You take responsibility for your actions at all times. If it is if right. it is shoplifting or, or, or... Partying with half the cowboys in Texas. That's exactly right. And that's why I won't lie about it. Forgive me for wanting to protect our daughter. No, you're trying to smother her. And me. You don't have to do that, Philip. I can handle my life, even when I make a mess of oh, it. Oh, Beth. If that were true, we wouldn't be having this conversation right now. If you want me to take control of my life, I will. Me, not you. But don't you understand? It's not just about taking control. I know you think everything's about control, but it's about taking care of yourself and taking care of our children. You don't think I can? Well, what, what are you seeing, Beth? I see our daughter just stealing something because she found out something about her mother. Now, what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to, you know, cover up my eyes and not listen to anything and just let this go on? I can't do that. What are you saying, Philip? Are you, are you saying that you're going to take my children away from I'm me? Like just, you would that? you just put an end to this nonsense? Put an end to this bogus relationship that you're in. Well, you know something? I plan on doing that. Great. Hallelujah. There's the phone. You need Bill Lewis's number? No, I'll get it I for you. I have it. And yours. The bogus relationship I'm talking about, Philip, is with you. What? What's the point of being with you when all you see is the victim you used to take care of? Not, That's not who I am I'm not now. Saying that, that is exactly that is what you're saying what every saying. time all you I'm... try and take care of me. But I am not going to let you make decisions I'm, for no, me listen, anymore. Yes, I'm yes, I'm... yes. I hate that Lizzie read Lorelai's diary. But you know what I hate even more? That she might become the person I was before Lorelai, and that I will never see happen. <laughs> it just gets better and better. How much of that did you witness? Well, I saw enough to see how well you handle the situation. Uh -huh. Dad, thank you so much for the support. You know, your inability to manage Beth <laughs> is going to cost you your relationship yeah. with her, I as well I, as the good name I, of this I family. I appreciate family. the advice, but I don't remember asking for it. You'd better deal with this. I will. When? when she's at the mall autographing her book? No. You better be the man. Step up to the plate and control Beth. I said I will take care. Don't tell me what to do. Whew. He doesn't see it, but he is ruining his future. Yeah, I'm sure he does, Alan. You know what I see being ruined? The perfect end of the perfect evening. Mm. Have a drink, relax. If you will join me. I think you should join me upstairs in, let's say, 20 minutes. I can't wait. <laughs> oh, me too. <laughs> not talking about Mara here. We're talking about you. Are you okay. or are you not still in love with Mara? That's none of your business. Oh, but my problems with Michelle are your business? That's different. Really? Really? You think I don't know about that meeting you missed on the yacht? Hmm? All because Mara jumped on board? That cost us a lot of money, Tony. 
Yeah, you know what? She jumped overboard. Maybe I should have let her drown. Too. Maybe you should stop giving her mixed signals so that she can stop chasing after you. I'm you not. That? I mean, are you aware of what's going on? You are so stuck on this Mara merry-go-round of loving her, not loving her, that your head is not in the game. Oh, you are what's so out of line. You've got to make a decision, Tony, and stick with it. you got to get it under control. Are you telling me that you didn't have second thoughts about leaving Michelle and Robbie? Huh? No, I didn't. I moved out and I moved on. And if you're smart, you'll do the same thing with Mara. Yeah? Yeah? You've really moved on, Danny. Hey. I saw your mom you. Where's she going? <sighs> she, uh... As a job. Wow, well, that's great. I don't know. Are you worried about her? And I have to watch the boys. You know, wait, uh, maybe you could help her. Me? How? Huh? If you could just find her, make sure she's okay. But you don't know where she is? Uh, she left this number in case of an emergency. Maybe this is where she's working? I, I guess so. Is it bad? We will continue with part two of Guiding Light in a moment. Miss Hills, can I have your autograph? I'm your biggest fan. <laughs> well, get in line. So how was your talk with Philip? We had a difference of opinion on how I should handle the publication of Lorelei's diary. Really? And is he still alive? <laughs> Barely. Hmm. You know, everything would work out if he would just, just trust me to do the right thing. Yeah, well, from what I know about Philip, that ain't easy. No, it's not just Philip, you know, it's, it's, it's Alan and Olivia. They all want something from me. Well, it sounds like it's Beth Rains versus the world. It feels that way sometimes. It does. Well, that's too bad, because it doesn't have to be. It's important. Please, please, please. please. How important? Well, come see for yourself. Olivia. Shh. Father gave them to me, and they're bugged. <laughs> You're kidding. Mm. You're not kidding. Yeah, I wanted to take them and shove them down his throat, but then I realized something. This isn't just about me. This is about you, too. <laughs> well, how do you figure that? He's been suspicious of us ever since he caught us kissing in the hot tub. Well, he knows that that was a joke. Well, joke or not, he thinks I have a thing for you. And... Um, in his own twisted way, he thinks you can steal me away from Why him. Why does he do this? Why does he have to play these games constantly trying to control everything? I know, I know, I know. I, I know what he did tonight. I saw how he gave you such a hard time about Beth, and it's all your fault. It's nothing new. See, he has this image of what my life is supposed to be, and he's trying to hold me to it. He always has. I see what a hard time he gives you, believe me. Yeah, well, don't worry. I know how to take it. 
take care of my father. See, this tug of war has been going on my entire life. Well, now he thinks he needs to bug my nice earrings in order to find us both out. Then let's give him something to hear. What are you talking about? The whole group? All of them. <sighs> well, fine, fine. Just call me if they change their mind. <sighs> Kathleen, Kimberly. Hey, I'm so, uh, hi. Am I? Am I early? No, no, it? you're on time. I'm sorry the party's been canceled. Why don't you two take the rest of the night off? I'm sorry. When did this happen? Just now. Somebody just called and canceled. Why? I, Cassie, I, what difference does it make? What difference does it make? Danny, what about my job? I'm sorry. It happens. You could just sometimes. send me home? Well, I don't need you to work. But you can't cancel me, Danny. This is $2,000 we're no talking party. about here. There's no There's no job. There's no money. It's that simple. I'm sorry. Wait a minute. It is not that simple. Now, you promised me money, and you are going to give it to me. He's gonna get a little shocked then, isn't he? You don't mind if he finds us here? Oh, no, I hope he does. Then maybe he'll realize he doesn't deserve you. Maybe he'll realize that he's not man enough to make you happy. Oh, well, I didn't think anyone ever could. Until now. I'll call you back when we decide to reschedule. What are you doing here? I'm looking for you. I left you a bunch of voicemails. Don't you check your messages? Well, I've been busy. What's up? My Aunt Cassie. What about her? Tony, don't act like you don't know, OK? Not with me. She's working for you and Danny. And that's your business. How? I told you that I don't want your family hurting my aunt. What makes you think we are? She has a job at Inferno. Whatever this job is, it can't be good. So if she's in any kind of trouble... If she's not. I took care of it. Why I... was the party canceled? Cassie, I don't know. It happens. Look, they'll reschedule, and you can work that one. When? Danny, when? I don't know. I don't know yet. It's not good enough. I need money, Hey, Danny. tell me about it. I need your money, too. Well, then let me try and pay you back. Please call up, pick up the phone, Danny. Call up Brandon and tell them you have a girl who really needs a job. No, 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 no. Forget that. No, What, do you think that it. I'm, like, I'm too gonna... good, that I'm too innocent, that I can't Look, handle Cassie, this? Is that I'm it? I'm not going to call. I will do anything for my children, Danny. I told you that. That's not my problem. No, it is your problem. Because you promised me a job, and you promised Cassie. me money. In return, I promised to take my clothes off. So I am what here, you... and I am keeping right. my promise. What? Music, the atmosphere. What are you Perfect. doing? What are you doing? Cassie. Is this what you hired me for? Get a good look, Danny, because I am going to give you the performance. 
of a lifetime. You took care of it, so she's not working for you anymore? No. It, it wasn't right. What wasn't right? What was she doing? Ask Cassie. Well, I'm asking you. You helped her out. It, that's really great. Yeah, well, I didn't, I didn't do it for you, okay? Or I didn't, I didn't, I didn't do it for, for Cassie either. I did it because of the business. And if that's all, I still have a million phone calls to make. Yeah, sure. See? Does this turn you on? What about this? What are you doing? This has got to be worth a hundred bucks. You want more? Got more. Come on, please. Do you stop like it. this, Danny? Does this turn you on? This has got to be worth a grand. Cassie, please. Just tell me what you want, Danny, but you know you better make it worth about two. Thousand dollars. That's enough. That's enough. Stop it. Get your rest. Please. You know, Beth, you just keep talking about it. it's you against the world, and I keep telling you that you're not alone. And then you keep changing the subject. It's because I don't want you involved. You that I am involved. Okay, maybe I didn't marry Beth Rains, but Lorelei Hills was a part of you. And I'm not gonna pretend that just that wasn't real. Yes, and that's what I keep telling Philip. I'm not gonna pretend I, I won't lie. Okay, then what's the problem? Well, the problem is the truth is wreaking havoc in my family's life. The truth got me got me thrown in jail for bigamy. And my daughter finds me there. And why is my daughter there? Because she's been arrested for shoplifting. And then and then she gets to find out that her mother, while drunk in Mexico, married someone she feels isn't that much older than she is. That's the truth. Right. <laughs> Listen to me. I am sorry about Lizzie. I am. Really. But it sounds like you're blaming our marriage for all of your problems. Wait, 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 wait. What's Back that? up. Not our marriage. Your marriage to Lorelai. Now, wait a minute. Isn't that the same thing? No, it's... Hmm? Oh, my... <sighs> You're right. You... I, I, keep, I keep telling Philip that we have to teach our kids to take responsibility for their actions, but how can I do that when I won't take responsibility for mine? Well, you already said you wouldn't lie. About Lorelai, but not about me. I keep trying to put distance between us. Oh, yes, she made mistakes, but they were her mistakes. They weren't my mistakes. I can't do that anymore. And why is that? Well, because Lorelai is me. I'm, I'm Lorelai. Whatever she did, I did. Whatever mm -hmm. she felt, I felt. Mm -hmm. Well, well, well. Congratulations, Beth. Now you're speaking my language. <laughs> what does that mean? Because you are finally taking responsibility for Lorelai. And it is about time. You want to know what I love about you? 
Other than the fact that you're gorgeous and you're smart and incredibly strong. You don't apologize for who you are. Not to Alan, not to Beth, not to me. Well, I could say the same thing about you. And you know, actually, there was a time in my life where that would have been a negative thing to me. But now I can't tell you how attractive I find that. Well, there is a difference, because I do the things I do to take care of myself. You, on the other hand, you... You do things to protect the people you love, and... You, you don't care about the cost to yourself. And the really sad thing... is that they don't even see it. And you do. I think it's incredibly attractive. And sexy. You're a fighter. You fight for what you believe in. You have no idea how nice it is to be with someone who's that strong and that brave. You are wasted on my father. He will eventually push you away. Because he does not have the guts to respect strength. Do you really think I have those qualities? I'm wondering why it took me so long to see them. You know, I was just about to call you. I won't be needing your services anymore. There's no need to eavesdrop on Olivia. She... Well, if you insist, but I really don't think it's going to be necessary. All right, all right, all right. Put the speaker next to the phone. This has been Guiding Light. 